Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Guess what? Today, we are going to show you some of the eggs underneath snakes that we've been letting the moms keep. <laughs> I was going to say maternal incubation. But <clears throat> once a week, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I already told you what we're going to do. And I've got one snake who had several eggs go bad. We're going to talk about why. We're all going to talk, also going to talk about if snakes will eat while sitting on eggs and our experience with that. So if you are interested in letting your ball pythons, or any snake for that matter, keep their eggs instead of sticking them into an incubator, you know, one of the benefits I've talked about is certainly that you don't have to run an incubator, which is, is great, but you do need to make sure your room's set up. I've mentioned that before in other videos, but just for if it's your first time watching anything on this subject, just know that it's very important that you have your room set up and that your humidity levels and just all everything in your room is, is well set because if things are off in the room, obviously, then the snake's gonna be struggling to keep the temperature of their eggs correct and the humidity levels and all that, so. Just something to keep in mind. But let's let's just take a look through some of these snakes here that have snakes on eggs. Eggs on snakes. <laughs> some of these snakes that have eggs. This is oh man, freedom breeder rack shelf, dude. <laughs> if you don't have it, it's such a such a game changer, such a life changer. Like the amount of stress of not having a place to put things is gone. And it's just everywhere. You know what I mean? It's like you don't need it, they're gone. And your room is wide open and you're good to go. I may have talked about this for years because these things have a game changer from the day I had them, and it's just so nice to be able to pull out a snake. So this female I'm about to show you here, she actually had none of her eggs hatch successfully last um, last season. I'm gonna give her one more try, and I will we'll pray that she does well. She has no slugs. We've only actually had one single slug this season out of one, two three, four, five, six clutches that are on the ground. There's been one slug total, which is great. So this girl right here, her name is Cindy, and she is an Enchi Firefly clown, which is, of course, Enchi um, Pastel and Fire with clown. And I want to give her another chance this season, uh, thinking that maybe it, it was something not that had to do with temperature or anything like that because every all the other snakes and all the other spots like did well and we're just going to take a quick peek and then when I show you the, the clutch that went bad or you know there's still a couple eggs left in the clutch but I'm going to show you what I will do in the future which is something I'm kind of doing right here now you don't have to worry too much about pulling mom off of the eggs because she will go right back on them when you're done like they're, they're just like they see their eggs and they, if you pull like watch I'll even I'll pull her all the way off and at the end of this video, we'll go and take a look and see if she's gone back in. Now, one thing you definitely want to do if you pull her off, and this is what I will do going forward with every single clutch that I let mom sit on, which will probably be every clutch ever that's laid here, is I will take it out, take mom off, take a look, see if there's any slugs. Um, you know, I'll give her a little time. If I'm catching her in the act of laying, I'm going to give her some time to sit on them for a little while, like maybe a day or two. So that I can, so they can adhere to each other, and they're gonna all be in the position that she laid them in. So that if I do a little, little move, I can kind of check and make sure there's nothing underneath. Like this has a little moisture right now, so I'm just gonna wipe that little bit of wetness away, so that, that can't become anything later, which you'll see with the clutch um, that we're gonna look at that is not doing so hot. So, without disturbing anything else, just kind of put these down back down there and. Made sure there was no like wet cocoa underneath and kind of dried underneath it. And we'll leave that there and we'll see if she, if I, by the time we end this video, let's, we'll open her back up and we'll see where she's at and how quickly she went back on those eggs or not. So let's take a look at another mama, this mama over here. And this girl, she was actually the very first that we allowed uh, mom to keep the eggs and incubate them herself when we first did this the, three years ago or not not this season not last season but the season before so two years ago I guess she was the only snake that we did it with before and 
she did great. All the eggs hatched. It was a, a beautiful thing to, to witness. Um, right now, she, she's laid these. These have been under her for a couple weeks now. Um, looking good. And this is, this is a mom where, okay, see what I did here? I don't know if I did this or if she did that. But I'm just going to make sure that there's no cocoa, especially the, some that's moist, like this little piece right here has a little bit of moisture in it. I'm going to make sure that that's not in there with the eggs. Um, so she just last week ate right after laying. She's sitting on her eggs, coiled them up, threw a little rat in there with a little bit of heat on it, and boom, she grabbed it, ate it on the eggs, and just sat here on her eggs. So I'll probably only offer, I'll probably only allow a mom to eat maybe, well, I shouldn't say that. I'll probably offer several times. My only thought right now is like, you know, what happens if she has to defecate? What she'll probably do, I mean, I don't think she'll just poop on her eggs. I think what she'll do is she'll crawl away and defecate in a corner and then go back to the eggs. That's what I imagine will happen. That's something I'll have to do an update on going forward. Because she did take, like I said, one meal so far since sitting on the eggs. So they will do it. Um, just going to depend on snake to snake, I think. I don't think it's going to be something that you can, like, control so much. Which you also can't control when they eat, even if you do take them off the eggs and wash the egg smell off them and put the eggs in an incubator. That's not a guarantee that you're snake is going to go right back on food either. I've done that with plenty of females and some of them take, you know, a couple months still to go back on food. That's not something we ha really have a lot of control on. We can do a lot of tricks and stuff like that, you know, whatever scenting or heating or just whatever little tricks you do to get your ball python eating. It's not guaranteed to work. Um, so, you know, that is, that is what it is. Here is an awesome clutch. So this mom Actually, we just let her last baby go that we were selling because we, we kept one of her babies back from last season. But we did that Morph Market auction um, on a clown pied recently and did pretty well, you know, did, did pretty well, I thought. I was, I was happy. I, was, I wasn't like, oh, dang, too bad it only went for that much. I, I was happy. So this is, of course, a princess, daughter of the queen who is the first clown pied we ever had, and she's got a clutch under here that is the same pairing that we did last season, which was Enchi Clown Het Pied to this Pied Het Clown. So looking for some Enchi Clown Pieds out of this, like she's given us both times that we've done that pairing, gotten Enchi Clown Pieds. Definitely blessed to get those kind of odds. Um, I'll just kind of let her chill. Her eggs are looking good. Everything's looking great. I definitely don't like to go and bother the mom all the time, but for the purpose of this video, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna bother them so that we can show you what's happening with them, but those eggs are looking great. You know, maybe like once a week when I'm doing the, the deep cleaning of the whole room, I'll pop in and just make sure everything's going well with the eggs and with mom and uh, just kind of give them that, that check. So I guess this will count as that. Here is the first clutch that hit the ground this season. So let's take a look at that. This is also the one I'm really excited for because it's the first time this girl is uh, ha having babies since we got her back in uh, 2017. So. It's pretty exciting to have this. And she's, she blows me away too with like how she changes color because right now she's super dark. And sometimes she's like way lighter than, like literally like, I, I don't know how many, how to describe the shades, but like she looks pretty dark now. She gets darker than this too. But also sometimes she gets like almost white. And like even just a couple days ago when I was uh, spot cleaning, I, she, she was like white compared to how she is right now. It's pretty cool. All right, she's all ready for a little tiny strike, so kind of gently pull her aside. I did end up throwing a little bit of uh, foot powder in there because I saw one egg was starting to get a little bit of discoloration, mold, mold type looking thing. So I just threw a little uh, stuff on there just to keep that from going bad. Sorry, Mom, didn't mean to freak you out there. And I just dropped some cocoa in there, so I'm going to get that out. Yeah, I, I, generally, I generally don't like to mess with them this much, but again, for the purpose of the video, just gonna make sure I'm showing you guys. There's a couple pieces of cocoa in there, but they were covered in that that powder, so they should have been should be okay. One of the eggs down there is getting a bit desiccated, uh, which will probably be fine. You know, we'll obviously do an update on all of these snakes once they are hatching, and once their little babies are crawling out from their coils, which is always a really cool thing to see. One of one of the awesome reasons for doing this is like to be able to witness that, and also just to let mom do what it is she was made to do, which is sit on her eggs and care for them until they hatch. So it's really cool and kind of rewarding, rewarding feeling to, to do this thing that we're doing here. It's pretty, pretty cool, definitely. 
Okay, let's take a look at the yellow belly pinstripe extreme jean um, het clown <clears throat> that has two eggs now left out of the five that she laid. Because you remember when we first, when I first showed you her clutch, there was one, one egg that had already gone bad. And I'm going to show you and talk to you about what that was. And you've seen me doing it already during this video, but let's just take a look and see how those last two eggs are doing. She's still sitting on them. And you'll see um, some powder in here, some of that, that foot powder. Let me grab it so you guys can see which stuff I use. A little tip I learned from Jerry Robertson back in the day. Uh, Desinex, and you know, it's a athlete's foot powder, basically. This stuff right here, Desinex. And uh, I've used it on eggs in the incubator for the entire season that we've been breeding. Anytime a little mold spot, you know, a discolored kind of mold spot shows up, you just do a little light dusting and just kind of put that on there and it uh, takes care of it and it stops it in its tracks and you don't end up having an issue. So you're going to see a bit of that powder in here. That's what you're seeing because I've dusted these eggs multiple times just because this one has had such an issue with uh, mold showing up, which is a real bummer. You can see she's like gotten some of it on herself, which is totally fine. So you can see she got two eggs left in there and they're looking all right. And hopefully they stay that way because this clutch has been not a complete disaster because we do have two good eggs left. But, you know, losing three of the five is far from ideal, of course. Um, so I hope she does a good job. So what, what I discovered, because when I, when I reached in there the other day and saw that two more eggs had gone bad, I was like, oh, man, what is going on? So I, I pulled her all the way off, which is not something I always did with them all. And you can see there's some of that powder on the bottom there. But I pulled her all the way off to discover that underneath in the center of the eggs at the bottom underneath the clutch she had pulled in like five or six pieces of of cocoa that were fairly moist that were very moist and so it was too much humidity being trapped and there was too much moisture that was wicking off and getting trapped on the eggs and that's what i believe caused the molding you know the, little, the excess moisture and so a lot of these snakes you know, when I watch them do this, they before they lay, they clear out this whole spot there on the hot spot where they get rid of all the cocoa, and it's just them. They've got literally like a whole barrier, a whole space around them where they've pushed away all the cocoa and just laid their eggs directly onto the um, bottom of the tub. So I think what happened there is she, for whatever reason, didn't clear out all the cocoa, and she ended up incubating or ended up holding on to some cocoa under the eggs, which I don't necessarily recommend, recommend doing this one-handed, but... Sorry, right. just got a good balance. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what happened there, I believe. And so what I'm doing going forward is I'm checking all the clutches, again, giving the moms a couple days to sit on the eggs and let them adhere to themselves so they're not going to be doing any rolling out accidentally. So I can take a look and like pull, pick the clutch up and check underneath, make sure there's no stray pieces of wet cocoa hiding under there. And that will be the policy going forward. Did we look at this clutch yet? I don't think we did. This is a nice clutch. Uh, and she... Uh, and she het sunset to cinnamon het sunset, which is the first pairing we ever did. I don't like that there's a bunch of urates around there that, that are dried, but they're, I'm just going to leave them. You know, I don't, like, I don't want to try and clean that stuff off and risk getting moisture in there, you know, when I'm cleaning it. I'm just kind of let, let it stick there. But we got nine good eggs in here, no slugs, looking really nice. This was the first pairing that we ever did when we first produced our very first visual sunsets, however many years ago now. And... Uh, Stoked about that pairing because we always have had good results. So, first time letting her keep the eggs. So, we'll, it'll be really cool to see little baby and she cinnamon sunsets popping their heads out of there. I'm looking forward to that day. But let's take a look again before we end this video at Cindy, the Enchi Firefly. And you can see that she has jumped back on her eggs and she's gonna, she's not completely coiled on them yet. She's not totally set, but she's gonna jump back on there and just get back to work on keeping those eggs safe in her coils. Not that there's any predators for her to worry about here in the snake room. But yeah, so you pull them off, they go right back on. And I hope this has been helpful for um, you if you have been wanting to try this. And again, um, I'll, I'll link that video again in the description that shows like exactly how my snake room set up so that we can successfully do this. Last season, like I mentioned before, we had all eggs hatch except for hers, except for Cindy's, except for the, that mom right there. Um, she didn't, there was like a bunch of deformities happening in that clutch. So if that happens again this season, then we probably won't let her keep the eggs again. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But 
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, look forward to this weekend's video where we will take you to the Denver show, the All-American Reptile and Plant Expo that we were at last weekend. So until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.